Hi everyone, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music and today we're going to talk about the top 10 accessories that you need with your first guitar. Alright, so you probably just bought your first guitar and you're super excited to get started and now you've realized that maybe there are some accessories that you need to have to be successful with this instrument. And we're going to talk about this today. We're going to give you the top 10 accessories that you need to get started with your new guitar. First accessory that you need with your guitar is a case. You need a case and you need a hard case. You have the best chance of protecting your instrument with a hard case. It's also easier to, especially if you're dealing with an acoustic guitar, it's easier to manage humidity with a hard case. That being said, there are some really great softer case or kind of hybrid case options out there, but they can be a little bit harder to navigate as far as knowing which ones are really protective or not. I've bought in cases in the past online that I thought, okay, yeah, this looks like it will be pretty protective and I got, and it's really not. Just to be safe, buy yourself a hard case, you won't regret it. All right, so the second, accessory that you need with your guitar is a tuner. The tuner that I have been using over the last several years, I've used many tuners over my career, and the one that I have been using the most really in the past five to six years is this guy right here. This is the Snark tuner. They, they, there are a few different models. They're all pretty similar, but I love this tuner, and there's a few reasons why. First off, it's, it's super small, but it's a headstock style tuner and really I feel like these are kind of game changers in the world of tuners. When I when I was younger and first started playing these weren't really a thing. In fact I remember uh, the very first headstock style tuner that I bought when they first kind of started coming out. Uh, I think I spent something like eighty dollars on it or whatever and it was it was really cool. Now you can pick one of these guys up for about twelve bucks. They can fit right there on your headstock and it's always there for you ready to go. Get yourself a tuner. I highly recommend a headstock style tuner and the Snark is great. You can't go wrong with that. All right, so the third accessory that you need to get started is a metronome. Some people might be like, man, this is pretty high up on your list, but uh, one of the things that I highly recommend as a, as a guitar teacher and as a music teacher, as a musician, is to practice all the time with a metronome. One of the most important skills of being a successful musician is being able to play in time and a metronome is, is essential for that. So get yourself a metronome. There's a lot of different options out there. I like to have an actual handheld metronome device that I can quickly and easily turn on and off in my practice session. Obviously you can download a metronome app online. There's a lot of great options for that. Uh, I use the Cadenza app. I'll share the link in the description below, which is really great. I use another app called Tonal Energy, which is also a tuner and there's a lot of, it can do a lot of th great things, but it has a metronome. But yeah, something like this, just a handheld metronome for me is really great and useful in practice session. Get yourself a metronome, you won't regret it. The next accessory that is extremely important for any instrument that is made out of wood, which most guitars are made out of wood, is some humidity control accessories. And the first is getting yourself a hygrometer. Now a hygrometer is a tool that measures the humidity level in a given area. I'm really excited about this little guy I've recently picked up. Uh, this is the GoV wireless digital hygrometer. Super small, super light. Stick that guy in your case and it connects with your phone via Bluetooth. So if your humidity levels go too low or too high, it also measures temperature if they go too low or too high, it will notify your phone and let you know. This is really great. I've had issues in the past. In fact, one of the first guitars that I ever bought, first acoustic guitars, um, I played it for many years. It was a wonderful instrument ran into some issues with humidity, got some cracking, and it was just it was just the saddest thing. To this day, I'm still super sad about that in instrument. Don't let that happen to you. Get a hygrometer, measure the humidity, and take care of it that way. Along with your hygrometer for humidity, you may need 
to adjust the humidity level. The, the area I live in right now, the humidity tends to stay pretty, pretty good to where I need it, but it, you might live in a place that's too dry. And in that case, you might need to get yourself a humidifier or something like this. There are a lot of different styles. This is the Damp It um, humidifier. So essentially this thing gets wet, you stick it down inside of the sound hole. This, this plastic piece on top keeps it from getting stuck down in your guitar and it just keeps your guitar at a good uh, humidity level. There are some other options out there like this Diodario Humidipack, which is really awesome. This thing will add or subtract humidity in your guitar uh, and in your case, depending on what is needed. So there's a little bit less of a need to measure and more just stick the packet in. It lasts for uh, you know, a few months at a time, you have to switch the packet out, but it will keep your guitar at a safe humidity level. This is a great option. Again, this is the Diodario Humidit Pack. All that being said, make sure you are tracking the humidity on your guitar to keep it safe. All right, number five. So the next accessory that you need for your new instrument is some basic cleaning and maintenance supplies. This can include, not necessarily limited to, but definitely includes a, a guitar polish, a fretboard conditioner of some kind, and probably some string cleaners. Now with all of those you're probably going to need some kind of uh, cleaning cloth. There are a lot of different uh, kits out there, things like that. So th this one here, uh, this is the Gibson Luthier's Choice uh, kit, and it comes with those, all of those things, right? So you've got a polish, you've got a string cleaner, you've got a, a fretboard conditioner, and that, it's all right there in one pack. I've used this, uh, I've used these over the years and they work really great. So making sure that you're keeping up on, on your instrument in that way. Basically every time I change my strings, I run a fretboard conditioner over it and I make sure I do a good polish on the instrument keeping your wood healthy, keeping your guitar playable and in good working condition. All right, so the number six accessory that you need for your new guitar is an extra set of strings. I can't tell you how many times I have broken a string, gone and looked in my guitar case or in my uh, gig bag, and there's no extra strings in there. And now I'm super bummed because I can't play my guitar. Don't let that happen to you. Make sure you always have an extra set of strings. Along with that, depending on the type of instrument you're playing, if you have an acoustic guitar with a pickup, it's always also a good idea to have an extra nine volt battery in your guitar case in case you need to plug that guitar in to an amp and that nine volt battery is dead. Also a really annoying issue to run into if you need it to work and your battery is dead. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the next four accessories are accessories that you might need but you don't necessarily need. But it just depends on kind of what you're doing with the instrument. So number seven on our list is guitar picks. Now the reason I say that's optional is because it totally depends on the style of music that you're playing. If you're a classical guitarist, you're probably not gonna need these because you're doing everything with your fingers, right? And the same might go if you're just doing mostly finger style playing. You probably don't need to worry about this, this side of it. But if that's not the case for you, you probably need some picks, okay? There's a lot of different options out there and it depends on what style of music you're playing. It depends on a lot of things. But a good place to start is just to get yourself a medium thickness, standard style guitar pick. This pick here is the Fender medium thickness pick. It literally has an M on it for medium. I buy these all the time, about once a year or so. I buy myself a bag of a hundred of them and, and they, last me throughout the year because I lose them all the time. I would highly recommend when you go buy your picks, buy extras because you're going to lose them and you're going to need them. So just buy a bunch, stick them in your guitar case, stick them in your car, stick them in your gig bag, wherever you might need them, just throw some picks. That way you never run out. All right, so the next accessory that you might need but don't necessarily have to have is a guitar strap, okay? So, um, and again, this depends on what you're doing with the instrument. If you're doing all of your playing, sitting down, maybe you just, you know, 
kick back on the couch in the evenings and play your guitar, you might not need a strap. You can still use a strap while you're sitting and playing. Absolutely, there are some benefits to using a strap um, in certain scenarios. Uh, but if you're ever going to be standing and playing, you're going to need a strap, okay? So just uh, keep that in mind that that's something that uh, that you might need. There's a lot of different straps out there, uh, but literally I've been playing guitar for over 20 years now, and I still only buy <laughs> this strap, and, and it's just the Ernie Ball super cheap nylon strap. Like, I think they cost $8 when you buy them. Maybe they're 12 nowadays, but they're cheap, okay? There's a lot of really expensive options out there for straps. You don't need anything fancy. You just need to be able to hold the guitar up. Now, that being said, if your guitar is really heavy or maybe you have some back issues or shoulder issues and, and the weight of the instrument really does affect you, it, it might be beneficial to look into a strap with some more padding or maybe some options to help keep that weight balanced on your on your body. But in most cases... Just get yourself a little nylon strap. You should be good to go. Okay, so the next accessory that you might need is a capo. So you maybe saw this in the music store. Maybe you know what it's for. Maybe you don't. If you have a guitar teacher, they will help you know if you need a capo or not. But it's never a bad idea to have one in your case because you never know when you're going to be looking at playing like, oh man, I really want to play this song by this person in the same key that they're playing in, I probably might need to use a capo, all right? So something to consider, get yourself a capo. This capo here is the Jim Dunlop USA. I've been using this style of capo for a lot of years and have had really good success with it. It's worked well for me. Okay, the number 10 uh, accessory that you might need with your new guitar is an amplifier. And that's like a whole world of its own as far as like what amplifier to get but just be aware of that so if you just buy yourself a guitar if it's whether it's an electric or an acoustic you may be in a situation where you need an amplifier are you going to be playing this instrument with a band with a group are you going to be playing it live at a coffee shop if it's an electric guitar and you want to play at home and be able to hear your instrument you might need a, an amplifier just be aware that that's something that that you might need with your instrument um, if it's just if you just have an acoustic guitar, you don't have any plans on um, playing with a band or playing live. You don't, probably don't need an amplifier, but there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. I will include links to all of the products talked about in this video in the description below. If you have any questions about these products or you have questions about other accessories that you may have seen and you need to know if you need them, please feel free to comment. As always, please subscribe. If you like this content and want to see more of it, please consider checking out my Patreon page and supporting Nick Tolman Music in that way. Thank you. Have a great day.